So today, uh, yesterday I did my snorkel or fixed it, you know, with the piece up top. So uh, now I'm gonna replace my axles and my ball joints on this uh, 01 450. I got the axles here, I didn't even open the box yet. I got a ball joints over there. Uh, I've opened them and I opened them individually. Only thing I've done so far is get this tire off. So now I'm gonna start on getting this off and it looks like it's pretty fucked up from whoever put it on the last time. Damn. Uh, let me get that off real quick. I mean, you always know the first step to get take is uh, is to take your carter pin out. So, all right, all right. Now I got the pin off, and there's this little cap that was on it. I guess it's used to hold down the. Uh, wait, the carter pin wasn't even. Oh yeah, it is. It's got a hole right there. I saw that hole on top. I didn't even think the carter pin was through. I thought it was only through this, but uh. I don't really know what this is used for. I guess it's a dust shield so that way it don't get on your threads up in there. As you can see they're kind of clean up toward the inside. So we'll get that off. Uh, we'll see the size it is. Alright, I got the nut off. It was a, uh, what is it? I, I use standard, but it's probably metric. Uh, what is it? Where is it at? There it is. 15 sixteenths. And now you gotta take these two, or these four nuts off and then this will slide off and then you can just pull your axle right out but I'm also going to do the ball joints well I'll see how wore out they are first I don't really want to replace something that ain't broke so I'll get to that and your lucky number is 12 to get this some bitch off so uh I'll put it on my I got a half to three eighths driver converter I'll put on my impact and knock them right off alright let's get that off all right, now that I got those off, it should come off pretty easy. Well, no, I shouldn't say pretty easy, but with some PB blaster and a screwdriver to pop the dust cap off right there, it should separate. If there's any other bolts, I'll find that out when I start prying it off, and I'll show you. But my other foil, the Rincon 650, this would just pop off after the four. So let's try it. Give that a try. So yeah, just go around it with a flathead screwdriver, and just I'm taking a pair of pliers and just knocking on the top of the screwdriver. And it's popping it loose. You'll have to go all the way around until it all fully comes loose. But it's going to come off. Alright, now that we've done gotten these shitty ass drum brakes out the way, we'll get to the next step, which is going to be taking off these ball joints. Um, I think you can get the axles out without doing it. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I gotta take them out anyway, so I'm just gonna go go ahead and beat the ball joints out and do it that way. So, you gotta take the uh, carter pin out, just like the other ones. And then ball joints are at such a bad angle. Well, it's lifted in there, so that may be why. But, we'll go ahead and get to that part next. And then we'll show you how to get the axles out of the actual four-wheeler. You wanna remove your ball joints. You can take the bolts out of your uh, upper A-arms and take out one of these bolts. Probably the top one will be best, considering this bracket right here. And just take that out and the shock will come loose. This will come loose and then this kind of fall down. And you can kind of flip it up in a weird position and turn this. You can spin this piece way around because you'll have to loo it loo uh, ah. I don't know why I keep talking like that. you got to lower the loosen the uh, lower A-arms too. And then this thing I just swivel and then the axle will pull straight out. But I'm just going to already have new ball joints. So like I said, I'll take those out and then it'll do the same thing. Just, it may be harder, maybe easier. I have an actual press to press these out if they don't want to come out. I don't know if I'll be able to use it down here though. Because that's kind of funky. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to use it up here either. So I'm, huh. I don't know about all that. That's kind of weird. I may have to beat them out or whatever. Well, they got these little clamps around them. I may have to pop those rings off. Does the bottom one have one? Yeah, it has a ring too. Maybe when they pop them loose, they just they slide out kind of easy, hopefully. Hopefully this ain't a pain in the ass to get out. There's that one over there. All right, here we go. I end up taking the A-arms off. And ball joints, apparently they look pretty new so I'm not even going to mess with them, I'll keep them for backups the bearings are good so I'm going to keep the bearings the only thing I'm going to do is switch out the axles so 
and the tie rods do need to be replaced but I didn't buy that I probably should have bought that instead of bobby joints but as you can see it was leaking kind of bad in there and uh, the new axles are in here I haven't gotten them out yet they are there's one and two so I'll open that up and these here are my bearings and uh, yeah there's one bearing yeah there's one set of bearings and the other set of bearings, so let's go ahead and get those replaced. The axles, baby, and that's what brand axles they are, if you're wondering. And there's the axle, look pretty sweet. Um, the one I took out, my buddy was right. Oh, wait, it did have the pin, the pin is still attached. Well, it must not have been all the way up in there because there was a gap allowing water, but we'll be sure this one holds pretty good. All right, everything back home. But when you stick the axle in, I took a pair of pliers and just beat it until it slid in. You have to knock it in. There's no other way around it. And it's much easier to take drop your A-arms and then just swing it around and then your axle will come out. But there's the new one. I'm not gonna record the other side because it's kind of repetitive. So if you wanna know how to pop an axle out of a 01 uh, 450, TRX 450, uh, that's how you do it. I'm going to start posting at least a video a week if I can. Um, I'm going to try my best. Uh, my next video will be over what has been done so far on that truck. And so I'll see you guys next time on my next video. And if you like, I mean, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. My Instagram and Snapchat will be in the uh, description. Uh, if, if I forget to put it, just ask in the comments and I'll... I'll post it. I'm usually pretty quick on replying to comments people post on my videos, so thanks.